Do you experience shoulder pain in Downward Dog that you don't necessarily experience at any other point throughout the day? Well, the reason for your pain might not be what you think. In today's video, I'm gonna show you three things that go wrong with our Downward Dog on the shoulder, and I'm gonna show you three ways to fix it and get things feeling better. So hit that like button and stay tuned. Downward Dog is one of the most common poses found in a yoga class. Unfortunately, it's also a very common place to find shoulder pain. Whether you're a beginner, practitioner, or an experienced yogi, if you're having shoulder pain in Downward Dog, this video is gonna help you find out why and how to fix it. And the reason might not be what you think. A lot of people assume that if they're having shoulder pain, that means that their shoulders are weak. Not necessarily. So let's dive into the top three things that go wrong and how to fix them. The number one thing that goes wrong is not grounding properly through the hand and the wrist. Now, if you just put your hand flat down on the ground when you're doing Downward Dog, you're likely gonna feel some wrist or shoulder pain. What I want you to do instead is imagine that you're holding a little frozen pea or like the tip of a pencil eraser or something really small right in the crease of your hand, right? So you know when you bring your thumb and your pinky together, you see the crease pop up here. So imagine you have just a little pebble or a pea right there. So what do you have to do when you take that down to the ground to go into downward dog or when you're pressing, what do you have to do to keep a little bit of space around that so you don't squish the pea? Well, instead of having your hand totally flat, you're gonna to have to arch your hand just a little bit like this. Now this is going to an extreme, nobody's doing downward dog looking like that. But what you are gonna do is come out of this flat position and go into just a slightly more engaged position. So try that out, give a little bit of space around your pee. You can still ground through the fingers, you can ground through the thumb, you can ground through your whole hand, you just wanna have a little bit of space right there. I call this exercise finding your inner piece. The second problem is improper shoulder rotation. So let's quickly review biomechanics, internal shoulder rotation, external shoulder rotation. At your sides, internal rotation, external rotation. When you're up and downward dog, it's the same thing. Internal, external. So you see what happens when I go into internal rotation? If I'm grounding my hands through the mat and then coming into a downward dog and allowing my shoulders to go into internal rotation, do you see how that crunches up the space between my ears and my shoulders? Now what happens when I go into external rotation? Ah, oh, so much more space here. So as soon as you set your hands down, you can even rotate them just ever so slightly to the outside. So we're not coming out here, but we're here, a little bit of external rotation. And then when you send your hips back and go into that downward dog, that's gonna cue you to remember, externally rotate your shoulders. And that gives you a lot more space through there. And the third thing that goes wrong is neck dysfunction. So even though you might not be feeling any neck pain, there may actually be an issue going on within your neck that's creating a problem with your shoulder. And when you put it into a challenging position, like trying to maintain stability and weight bearing, which is in the downward dog position, you're gonna experience that. So what can you do about that? Well, you can try to massage your neck, you can go through some ranges of motion, you can check out my other video, I've got some great neck exercises. But ultimately, getting checked out by a chiropractor is gonna take care of any issues that are going on in your neck in case there are joints that have gotten stuck and are not rotating properly, or in case there's any tight muscles that are limiting your rotation, when you don't have proper biomechanics, that's gonna squeeze down on the nerves that come out from between the holes and the vertebrae. Those nerves course down the arm. So if there's anything going on in the neck, even if you're not feeling neck pain, you're gonna end up feeling that somewhere in the arm. So I hope you learned something in this video about how to prevent shoulder pain and downward dog. If you'd like more injury prevention tips, you can subscribe to my channel. You can do that right over here and there's another video you might be interested in right over there. All right, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.